good morning and cheers to the patron who sent me this story. I guess you now know who you are. <laughs> it's an update from somebody who knows their stuff, one of my patrons, who knows a new technique of how submarines communicate using quantum communication. Hmm. So I read their email with interest. Sounds fantastic and I had no idea what they were talking about. But they had a link to New Scientist, a popular science journal that tried to explain what quantum communications underwater using optical... Uh, I didn't get it. So to show you how dedicated I am to try and understand things for you... Ow. I um, read the original paper that had a link in New Scientist, I think it was, to optical quantum computing. And it had a bit of a, um, a general introduction about how it worked. And I had no idea what they were talking about. What a sad life I lead. It keeps me awake at night. Because the next step was to do the MIT course on the introduction to quantum computing, which I did. I love MIT. You no longer need a king's ransom to go to Massachusetts Institute of Technology. You can do them online for free. And sure enough, they got one or two bits of information into my brain. My old grey brain cells began to understand, actually, not how it works, but the potential of a new form of communication. And that's what you need to know about today. So it's to answer an old chestnut, and that is how do you communicate with a submarine that's deep? Everything in TV is deep underwater. Even if it's a few inches deep underwater, or submarines that need to be told to fire the missiles or not fire the missiles. How do you talk to them? And we've talked on this channel before about um, very long frequencies or ultra long frequencies. But welcome to the modern world, Simon. <laughs> yeah, great. That's what this patron wanted to tell me about. One way, I'm sure there's others I don't even know about. One way to talk to submarines is using an optical system encoded with quantum weirdness. Oh boy, let me explain that. I need a sip of coffee to even begin. Here I go. <laughs> okay, so quantum world is the world of the very small. We live in the big world, but we get down to subatomic level, things become very strange and the normal Newtonian physics breaks down. Um, that was basically the giant debate between the quantum physicists and Einstein. Einstein took the Newtonian physics to its end and explained all the inconsistencies that somebody like Newton couldn't really explain. But it didn't really work. It broke down when the new subatomic world was discovered. Now, one of the things about the tiny quantum level of reality, or whatever we want to call it, is that things seem to be connected. Particles even disconnected at great distances, possibly on the other side of the universe, can communicate. And that was an enormous challenge for Albert. Einstein, what he understood and what was told to him about entanglement of quantum energy meant that the, there had to be some kind of connection between the particles or the energy sources, and he called that quantum weirdness or strange entanglement. And this, this strange tangled connection of particles or energy, I don't know what to call them, at a distance, 
is altered if you look at either of the particles or the energy levels. If one is spinning up, the other one is spinning down. But if you study one of them at either end of the system, I'm doing this really badly, but I'll just persevere. If you work in quantum physics, put me right. If you study or even observe one of them and you change its state to down, the other one will change to up. Now that could be used. Scroll forward to the modern day and we're starting seeing what's called quantum computing. And I've no idea how they work, but they work really fast. Like they can solve the cryptic codes can be broken by quantum computers. And the security services, the CIA, the NSA, the GCHQ of your country started getting very worried because a lot of the very long passwords or encryption codes that people want to use to keep their information secret could never be broken in a n normal human's lifetime. I mean, even using standard but fast computers. So that's what made them secure. But the quantum computer can do it in factors of thousands times faster. So suddenly communication potentially bank stuff, military stuff, government stuff, or whatever stuff, secret stuff became vulnerable. But clever boys and girls discovered that this quantum pairing, this quantum orientation at a distance, specifically maybe down a fiber optic cable at each end, can be used if you have set a key at one end of an encrypted system, the other end is exactly the same. And if, for example, the cable is cut or somebody tries to tap into it or whatever, it supposedly upsets that key, making it much more secure than other digital encryption devices. In the MIT article, I actually laughed last night when I was reading it, it said, Quantum key encryption probably won't be utilized for cat videos on social media, but it might be used for your bank account. I thought, yeah, that's probably true. So this is very typical of my films. It's like I've gone off a complete tangent and you at the back are all shouting, what's this got to do with submarines? And yeah, all right, 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 wait. It turns out Again, thank you to the Patreon for explaining this, that seawater is actually completely transparent, even turbulent seawater, and I've been learning all about turbulence, to certain wavelengths of light, which only I know. No, you can find out. And you can transmit a certain light frequency, a certain wavelength of, let's just call it colored light, via lasers, underwater a great distance because the water is transparent and will transmit the laser without attenuation, good word. But all your enemy would need to do is to put a mirror up in the middle and read your text message. Well, not if it's quantum strangely encoded. And that's exactly what this machine does. Alice sends a message to Bob. I've discovered something really secret. I think this is a Navy top-end research thing. And MIT and other countries, they all call the experiment Alice and Bob. Why? I don't know. Anyway, Alice sends a message to Bob through dark, murky, turbulent water using a encoded quantum key, if you now understand what that is, somehow the keys are linked. That's all you need to know. If the message, if the laser beam through the water is ever interrupted or anything messed around with it, it will break the key and destroy the connection. So welcome to the modern world 
where Alice and Bob can talk to each other with quantum entangled pair weirdness. Meanwhile, you and I can go ahead and share our cat videos using binary code. Was that interesting to you? If so, give it a thumbs up. I think that's what people say at the end of YouTube videos. If you want more, subscribe. And if you want me to stay up all night reading MIT papers, come and join the Professor Simon Science Club on Patreon. Share your knowledge, share ideas, have early access to new films. Because the truth is really out there. Thank <laughs> you.